Orientation Mobility Specialist at Future Insight in Concord, New Hampshire. And today we are going to be talking about the Sunu Band. It is a wearable electronic travel aid that uses echolocation and sonar through haptic feedback as a way of detecting obstacles. The Suno band has multiple functions, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to be focusing on it solely for navigation. We also do want to let you know that this video is geared towards orientation mobility specialists, but even if you're not an O&M, please continue to watch because you're likely to pull some important information from what we have to share. Here are some things to consider when introducing the Sunu band to your clients. When considering which of your clients would benefit from the Sunu band, you're looking for someone who has strong mobility skills with either their cane or their dog. The combination of both the haptic and tactile feedback can initially be very overwhelming and may not be a good fit for the novice traveler. We have found the best place to demo the device is in a fairly open area, such as a mall, hotel lobby, a gym. Um, if the area is too small, the feedback can be very confusing and make it really hard to teach the Sunu band. Initially, when your client begins with the band, the mobility is going to slow down considerably. And much of this is due to the processing of the, all of that sensory input that they're receiving from the tactile information from the cane and the vibrations from the band. This will even out as they become more familiar with the device. The Sunu band is not a replacement for a white cane or a dog guide. Rather, it's just another tool to add into the tool belt. Um, one thing to consider is the device takes time to learn and your client has to have the desire and the willingness to practice and really get comfortable using this device because it really does depend on how they use the sonar for how well they will be able, able to detect obstacles in their path. I have the Sunu band on. Uh, right now it's doing a light pulsing. Um, starting to feel more rapid pulsing. Uh, now it's a solid pulsing. Uh, so I'm going to examine, find out what object is in front of me. Once I discover the object, I can go around it. So as an instructor, you may be wondering, um, how am I going to teach this to my client when I can't feel the vibrations that they are feeling? Well, Sunu Band has actually developed a tether that allows the instructor to pair two devices together through Bluetooth. So here's a look at the app. Access both the current and future features of the Sunu band, such as tethering, there is the need to download the Sunu app. The Sunu app is available both for iPhone and Android and is a free download. Here is a very brief overview of the Sunu band app. So, to access the app after you download it, you tap on it, and the first screen you will be brought to is the dashboard. So, here on the dashboard, you have some very helpful areas that you can access, including seeing how much battery life is left on the Sunu band, if there are any updates you can do. Also, it has different ways of changing the settings of the Sunu band to make it fit the client's need. And finally, the last thing I'd like to show you is the apps tab at the bottom of the screen in the middle. So if you tap on that, it brings you to more detailed um, areas that you can change the settings for. It also has a pedometer. You can see how many steps. Um, it also would be where the Sunu tethering is included. Um, so this is a great section to find those more detailed things that you might be looking for. Well, thank you for joining us. Hope this information was helpful and you have a great day.